my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Okay, so let's go into Photoshop, click here and then we click on Ctrl N to bring about our new document. Let's set here to 1500, set here to 1500. Let's leave it at pixels. Let's set it to 150. Doesn't really matter, but let's set it to 150 RGB color because it's just for social media and then let's use 8 bit. Let's call it prayer and power and leave everything like this and then click on create. Okay, so let's set your rulers. If your rulers are not showing up, um, simply have to click on control out for them to show and then you click on your move tool over here and then just move them let's start with our background we want to start with our images let's go i'm going to leave a link to all these images in the description for you to download and so uh, you don't need to worry at all okay so give it mask go and pick this one as well. Drag it in there. And give the lady also a mask. Pick your brush. Go here and choose the soft round brush. Also make sure the hardness is zero. If you are not seeing the tip of your brush, make sure your caps log is off. Just reduce it a little bit. And then also make sure this side is color black. Choose color black. And then the opacity is 100, the flow is also 100. And then let's clean it. So you're trying to blend those two images together. Okay. Now that's great. You also want to clean beneath it like that. Go here and then also clean beneath it. Alright, let's clean this side as well. Let's go and pick this one. Let's drag it in there. Increase the size. Right click it and flip horizontal this way and drag it down. Just drag here behind. Like that, like that, like that. Great. Also give it a mask. Increase the size a little bit. And just clean it like that. Come and then pick the last one. Drag it here. Give it a mask. Just clean around the edge. You only want that lady, so let's increase the size a little bit. You really want that lady to show. Alright. Then clean this side again. Um, and that is it. Let's put everything in a folder. Let's call it images. Give it a layer and then control H to bring back your something. Increase the size. You want to set here to color white. Or you could click on X to flip between them. One color white. Choose white over there. And then just hit the middle here one two that is all okay so now this is great um go down here let's click here go to solid color and then select this particular color all right so we want this blue color we are trying to create an overly flyer so this is it Click here and then let's click on multiply and see and then let's give it um, let's give it some curves and then let's leave it like this but let's push this forward a little bit somewhere here is good let's also give it um, an exposure I'm giving it an exposure because sometimes your background looks dark a little bit and people want the background to look a little bit brighter and so 
when you send it to them and they say, I want the background to be, I like the background like this, but sometimes people will tell you, I want the background to be a little bit brighter. So when it happens, like that, you put in an exposure at the background and then you increase this one up. So increase it up. And then you offset this one to up a little bit. I don't like the way it looks too roundish, so I'll delete it. Just hit there and then reduce the opacity a little bit. Reduce the flow, sorry. Just hit there again. Wow. Same old thing, my brush is misbehaving. Oh, let's take it like that. Let's take it like that. Okay. So, let's duplicate the brush. And let's reduce this one to 50%. And let's reduce this one to also 50%. Let's see. Okay, now let's let's just it to 70%. Let's see. Let's increase this one to 70%. Let's see. Alright, oh, so I like this way. Let's 70 70%. percent yeah, that'll be good. Alright. Let's put the whole thing in a folder. Let's call it EG. But always remember you can go back to the exposure. And increase the brightness or you could decrease it depending on what your client wants so I'll leave it at one point um, 1.3 I'll leave it at 1.3 then the, this one I'll leave it at okay so that's it now let's start with our text so let's go and pick our text pick prayer now all these are going to be in the description for you so don't need to worry that much. Drag it somewhere in the middle. Let's go and then let's pick. Let's pick um, steel fish. Let's set the size. Set the tracking to minus 40. Then let's increase it and see how it looks like. Okay, so keep the size at um, 200. And then the tracking, um, let's keep it at minus 40. Also leave um, the horizontal scale to 100 and then choose um, white color. Also make sure this is um, regular. Let's duplicate it. Click on your move to and then move it back. Hold shift and then drag it down. Um, we're going to call this one. So we're going to call this power. <laughs> but we are going to use impact for that. Impact. I'm going to leave it in the description for you as well. The size is 130. The tracking is minus 40. The horizontal scale is 100. And then the color is color white as well. Then you drag it up. Then click here. And then pick night off. Then just paste it there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Go here and then choose century. Century. Also want to make sure it is regular let's choose the size 13 and then here let's choose one four eight zero now let's go here right click here and choose the elliptical marquee tube then hold shift and just drag it like that this is good now when you click on the move to you will not be able to move it you see when you're moving it it is moving with the night off and that is not what we want control Z to go back click on your elliptical tool again then you'll be able to move only it so you drag it down you go to prayer and click on this now it's going to do something like this um double click it or something like that and then click on invert so you're going to have this we want it to go up a little bit so let's click on the chain to, to separate the text from the mask so click on the mask here click on your move tool and then move it up and that is all click on it back again for the chain to come let's go and pick our end then paste it there but we just don't want to use any end we want to use intro so let's go let's pull it here and then the size is 42 the tracking is minus 40 and the color of course is white that is it let's hide it and let's see let's put it all 
in a folder let's call it text now let's start with our logo to um, let's pick this one drag it there double click there go to color overlay click here and then choose white then okay so click there then you pick kingdom let's paste it there let's add charcoal kingdom charcoal send it up here duplicate it and bring it down let's name this one international let's reduce the size of this and let's boost it a little bit boost it a little bit just to make it small then boost it boost it let's put it and let's name it logo it is centered nicely so that's great the next thing we are going to do is bring our venue and uh, click on this make sure this is stroke is off and then this one is white center it so make sure it is centered let's go and pick our venue let's choose this paste it here choose color black let's set the tracking to zero the side let's set it to 10 let's leave the font at century let's reduce the size of this awesome kingdom chapel paste it there move it up let's use franklin franklin gothic heavy let's set the size to 26 change it to color white make sure it is centered nicely let's set the tracking to zero as well then let's go and pick preservation temple adenta copy it duplicate this and bring it down and then paste it here let's go for franklin medium so franklin gothic medium let's set the size to one four and then tracking let's set it to hundred let's duplicate it and let's go and pick this paste it there let's set the font to franklin gothic book let's set the size to nine and the tracking to 170 so let's reduce the tracking until it matches okay this is good let's see now let's duplicate this and pull it down here and bring Let's pull this one here with this and this. Let's pull it down a little bit. And then let's move the venue to with it. Okay. Let's pick uh let's pick any of them. This one duplicate it. Let's send it up. And then let's also move it down here. Let's call it Fridays with this as well. Um, let's choose the font Franklin Gothic heavy as well. Let's choose the size 26. Let's choose 19 for the size and the tracking. Let's leave it at zero and let's click on the move tool and then move it somewhere here Then duplicate it and move it forward Six thirty this one for a little bit let's choose franklin gothic medium and then the size let's make it 13 now this this and this let's highlight them or select them and then center it 
let's put this and this let's call it d and time let's put this and this let's call it brand new all right so i i make sure i always put my things in a folder and i organize it nicely so a graphic designer should do his his or her work and so please adopt the strategy i think i think still have the last thing that we are supposed to do um just this one pick this one click somewhere here paste them and let's um choose the font trajan pro like i said i'm going to leave all of them in the description for you because I'm, I'm a nice guy you know i'm a nice guy and then the font size is 12. the tracking let's set to 500 and push it up also make sure the trajan here is regular not bold ctrl t to transform it right click it and click on uh, rotate counterclockwise sweet now bring your rulers and then let's just move it until the middle falls on it and that is it so guys this is how you design this kind of flyer it's quite simple it's an overly flyer of course and it looks beautiful um if you want to decrease the brightness of the background you can mute it or you can just play with it you know play with it you know play with it just hide the background or like this or bring it up depending on which one you want okay so Thank you very much guys for watching this video and learning from something from it. I have some affiliate links down there. Please do check them out. If you love them, please feel free to use them. I'm also going to leave the template for this one in the description together with the font and all the source files. Please like the video and subscribe as well so that anytime I upload new videos, you will not miss out on any of them. Also hit the bell icon. I love you all guys. Peace out. I don't